Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you step by step how to create these underwater scenes in LB After Effects. It's gonna be a bit more advanced tutorial, but let's get started. First let's see the original shots. Most of the shots were recorded handheld. We'll also use 3D tracking, so make sure there are some objects or marks in your scene so that After Effects can track the shot properly. Furthermore, I also used a green screen and recorded some chairs and other objects hanging on a fishing line and spinning around. And that's basically all you need. So let's dive into the editing process. Before that I want to quickly talk about Envato Elements. It's an amazing tool for all creators, offering a huge library with tons of creative assets and presets. They offer great stock footage, awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. If you are a filmmaker it will definitely save you a lot of time. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Now let's open up After Effects. I already placed the first shot on the timeline. As our first step we can change the colors. Create an adjustment layer and apply curves effect to it. Increase the blue channel and green channel. Then add CC vignette effect to darken the edges. We can also use the tint effect, change the color to blue and change the amount to something around 20%. Next let's add some volumetric lighting, which are these light rays that can be seen in the water. Create another adjustment layer and add CC radial fast blur effect to it. We can move the center to get different looks. However, I want the center to stay in one place throughout the whole shot even though the camera is moving around. So let's 3D track the shot. Select the layer and hit track camera. Once that is done you can pick a few track points and create a solid and camera. This might help us later when we'll be adding more elements into the scene. Next create a new light and set the type to point. Since this is a 3D light we can use it to define the center of our light rays which we created with the radial fast blur effect. So position the light to the spot where the light should be coming from. Go back to the radial fast blur effect, hold alt and click the stopwatch icon for center. Now parent the center to the light. But this center uses a 2D value and our point light is 3D. So we need to use a little 2-comp expression, which gives us the 2D position of where a 3D object appears in the scene. Now as you can see the center follows the position of our 3D light. Another option is to use a plugin called Strap Code Shine to create those light rays. Furthermore, we can add some distortion or displacement to the shot. Create new adjustment layer and search for Turbulent Displace effect. This effect allows us to simply deform the shot and we can animate the evolution to make it change around. Hold Alt and click the stopwatch icon. Then type in time times 200. And you can change the size and amount to something you like. Now let's add in some floating particles. For this you can use either the CC particle world or CC ball action effect. I actually ended up using both of them, so I'm gonna show you the options. First the CC particle world. Create a new solid and apply the effect to it. Adjust the position and under Particle change the particle type to Faded Sphere. Then change the radius to fill the room with particles. 
Next, change the animation type to Fractal Omni. Reduce the birth rate and increase the longevity. Finally, change the color. Now add CC Vector Blur effect, Fast Blur effect, and reduce the opacity. You should get something like this. The second effect you can use to generate these particles is called CC Ball Action. Create a new black solid and add the effect to this layer. Play around with the settings until you get the look you like. This time I made the particles smaller. Then use the tint effect to change the color. And add the vector blur effect. Now we can start placing some underwater elements in the scene. I want to have some elements behind the door so first I need to create some masks. Since this shot is already tracked, we can create a simple shape layer. With no layer selected, grab the pen tool and create a mask around the glass. You can make the shape layer 3D and it should stay in the place pretty well. In case the mask is sometimes a bit off, you can enable animation for the path and make some adjustments. Place the shape layer above the main shot and create a duplicate of the main shot. Sometimes you might need to pre-compose it as well. Then use it as an alpha inverted mat. As you can see everything in the front is visible and the rest is transparent. So for example you can now add some green screen particles only behind the door. Next let's add some plants. I actually found some in a great tutorial by Rajayant, so you can get them as well. Link will be in the description. Simply import the plant as a PNG sequence. Right click and choose interpret footage. Here you can set the frame rate and make it loop a few times. Then you can place it below our door mask. Make it 3D so that it moves with the camera. And position it wherever you want. Use the curves effect to match the color with your scene. You can even add a bit of blur. I also decided to place some elements behind the body. So I duplicated the main shot and used the rotor brush tool to create a selection of the body. Make sure to freeze the selection. And adjust the settings. Now we can add something behind the body. Simply place the element below the rotor layer and door mask. Then I added some more green screen elements and found a green screen shot of some fish. I used the key light effect to remove the green screen, made the layer 3D, adjusted the position and scale, and placed it below the rotor layer. Again used the curves effect to match the colors and lighting with the rest of the shot. Next I masked one fish out of this shot, and place some duplications around the scene. Apart from that we can add caustics, which you can easily create inside of After Effects. Create a new comp, and a black solid. Add fractal noise effect to it, 
an animated evolution which you can do manually or use a simple expression. For this, hold Alt and click the stopwatch icon. Then type in time times 200. Top it off with the CC vector blur effect. And you should have something that looks like this. Bring this caustic comp into the main comp and create a feathered mask. Set the blending mode to screen. Use the curves effect to adjust the look. Now let's make it 3D and place it on the wall. Also reduce the opacity. Furthermore, I added some green screen particles and bubbles which I found online behind the body. And I finished the scene by adding these light beams emitted from above. The second scene was a lot faster to create since I just copy pasted most of the things which I already used in the first scene. But you can see there are these floating chairs and objects, which I'll show you how you can create right now. First I 3D track the shot, added in volumetric lighting, color grading and distortion, and some caustics on the floor. Then I adjusted the settings for particles. Again I made a mask around the door and started placing elements around the scene. At this point we can bring in the green screenshot of our spinning chair. Grab the pen tool and create a mask around the chair. Add the key light effect and pick the green color. After that adjust the screen matte settings to get a cleaner key. Then choose intermediate result and apply the advanced spill suppressor effect to this layer to remove the green spill. Next make the layer 3D and place it below the other layers. I think it looks pretty cool. Maybe we can animate the scale and position just a bit to get some more movement. Then I did the same with the other objects. And we are done. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.